Oh, Jennifer, I am so worried. But, Skerita, why? I meet my new roommate today, and I don't want it to be that Monica Decay character. Why are you worried about her, Skerita? You can handle her. I have a bad feeling in my bones about her. She is a very unkind monster. I wish we could be roommates. Yes, but it is also good to meet new people. And anyway, you and I will always be good friends. I know you're right. Well, wish me luck. I am going to meet her now. Bye, Gina Fire. Oh, hi. You must be my new roommate. Oh, muy bueno, you are not Monica Decay. No, I'm E.C. Dawn Dancer, daughter of the Deer Spirit. And I am Skelita Calaveras, daughter of Los Esqueletos. I'm an exchange student from Boo Hexaco, and I'm here at Monster High because I saw a vision that I should be here, and I'm excited to find out why. How interesting! You get visions, and I get a feeling in my bones. Wow, I guess we have that in common. Yes, we do. And I have a good feeling in my bones about you and me as roommates. I can't wait to find out more. Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. I thought it would be fun to make another Monster High dorm room, this time for Skelita Calaveras and EC Dawn Dancer. I think these two ghouls go well together and have a lot in common because, number one, they're both from the spirit world, and number two, they both get feelings or visions about the future, and so I thought that it would be fun to put these two together. As always, I started with an empty shelf. These are called large open cubes, and I get them from Amazon. For Skelita's floor, I wanted to combine all of her cool Dia de los Muertos colors, so I cut off strips of each of these different felts and glued them to her floor. For her wall, I chose this scrapbook paper which has all these dancing skeletons on it, which I thought was super appropriate for a skeleton like Skelita. To cover up the margin on top and bottom, I chose these orange ribbons and also these really brightly colored flowers that reminded me of Dia Dos Muertos and, these, uh, and this ribbon trim consisting of uh, pink and green flowers. So I stuck three of those flowers in, up there in the corners and then I used the ribbon trim across the bottom. And now we have Scalita's side done. For Isi's side, I picked this flooring because I really liked that pattern. And then because I wanted her room to look like the inside of a Hogan or like a Navajo dwelling, I picked this scrapbook paper from a collection called A Day at the Beach. So here I've gone ahead and used tacky glue to put on her flooring. And I've also used the same tacky glue to put up her walls. I do think that looks like the inside of a Hogan. Now for their windows, I painted a Hobby Lobby window frame orange for Skelita. I'm gonna use this Beast Bites Cafe background. And for EC, I painted the same frame red. For EC's side, I found a really cool charm at Hobby Lobby that reminds me of something she would have on her wall. I'm gonna make her a rug made out of this piece of craft fur and a little plant decoration made out of these chenille stems. I took a, well, this looks like a planter, but I'm gonna use it upside down. So I did not paint the inside, but I did paint the outside a gold with a paint pen. And I'm gonna take these chenille stems and kind of shove them through the middle so that it can look a little bit like a planter holding like desert stems. Then I bought a very cheap dream catcher from Five Below and I took off the tassels and I used one of the chenille stems and I'm gonna make this kind of her curtain. Finally, from Hobby Lobby, this was on sale and I really like this pattern so I'm gonna use this as a wall hanging. So I put up her curtains and I hot glued a silver bead and I'll just hang that over the wall. And now EC side is done. For Skelita side, I'm gonna use this shadow box that I found around Halloween time that has a great Dia de los Muertos theme and I will just add to it a popsicle stick that I'm going to paint so it can be her wardrobe. For her curtains, I'll take this dowel rod 
and I actually painted both of them the same shade of apple tart green. I hot glued the popsicle stick into the shadow box and now I can hang clothes there. For her curtains, I have some spare fabric of the Sugar Skulls fabric that I used for her bedspread. And I trimmed each of the sides with this bright orange ribbon using these, um, I guess these are called flower bling. Um, using that and a few other items, I made her curtains. So there you can see that um, I had one final flower that I glued to the middle. I glued the two flower bling to each side of her curtains and then I finally used any remaining flower trim as curtain stays and I hot glued the curtains over her window. I also took a picture of Skelita's familia from her diary because her family is so important to her and I put that on her wall. This is another cool decorative item. It's a sugar skull that I thought would be great as Galita's end table or maybe a place for her to sit, although she doesn't sit very well. So I decorated the shadow box. I took her adult collector edition dress and hung it up. And I also have her luggage in there and a piece of pottery that I think she might have created. And we'll just go ahead and add in her sugar skull. And now we are done with their dorm room. Well, I have two questions for you guys. Number one, what do you think of these two ghouls as roommates? And number two, what do you think of this room? All right, time to do some shout outs. Shout outs go to Christian Yanez, Kelly Kaufman, Carol Bell, and Turtle Ocean. Thanks guys for watching my videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye.